Here's an overview of the facility we're about to enter. We pulled it from the fortress. I'm afraid that this is going to have to be a solo mission for you, Lance Leader. However, if experience is any clue, we'll only see elementals and light mechs. So what is this place? From what we've pieced together, this one facility produces enough geothermal energy to supply the entire peninsula and then some. Each of these triangular areas will house core tap systems. At the far end, we have an elevator that will lift us to the caldera above. We can't risk more than one mech in that inferno. I'm afraid you're elected Lance Leader. Yeah, fuck it. We'll keep it the exact same. I was looking at this, I'm like, I don't know what I want to do with this now. Uh, yeah, so there's a couple of mechs here now. Fuck it, we'll just keep it exactly the same. I, I don't I don't see the reason to change it. Uh, it is missing a point in armor, I think, but whatever. I think we'll be okay. Uh, let's see. Annihilator, Annihilator, <laughs> Annihilator, Supernova, Supernova, Avatar. We want to bring the Daishi with us. And that's pretty much all we can do, uh, actually, now I look at it. Oh, wait, they still have the Mad Cats. No, they don't. Actually, what? I, I I have no idea how that works, but let's just um, allocate our salvage first. Uh, definitely need these ERP PCs because I think we we wasted like all of them last mission on guys that didn't even use them properly. Ultra AC twenty. Maybe we could use the Ultra AC twenty for the one of the last missions. Maybe a Christmas Christmas miracle will happen. I've been collecting them this whole time to do some sort of meme build with them, but it looks like that's actually not going to happen. Uh, well, it's sort of gonna happen. Maybe I should put an Ultra AC-20 on the- on the Daishi. Yeah, shit, let's do that, actually. We have enough- well, we have 20 rounds for it, so never mind. We don't have enough rounds for it. Never- never mind. Never mind. Meme averted. Yeah, we got nothing else here. Actually, you know what I'm thinking of? You know what? You know what, the one thing we will do, and since I don't have to do a lot of this stuff, I'm going to show you. We are going to actually put on uh, uh, AMSs, two AMSs to be exact. Because I actually need those. Because uh, not having them is actually terrible. Alright, that's good. Reactor online, sensors online, weapons online, all systems nominal. All right, what do we have first? Single fire engaged. Oh, mental. Uh, mental. Uh, Sunder. Another Sunder. What do you mean only elemental mechs? Fuck that guy. He stood still. Oh, wait, Sunder. Fuck me. Uh, uh, don't, don't, don't go near me. Alright. <laughs> he didn't, he didn't actually go into the lava, though. I uh, can't see how much HP we have. Uh, oh, right, I've restarted the game. Oh, uh, yeah, that's the one. Okay, there's a couple of elementals still. Those are Targeting. not gonna be fun to shoot, Targeting. but wait one sec, Targeting. let's let's get back to that Targeting. sunder. Fuck. Targeting. 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 Okay, we're gonna targeting. Targeting. Uh, I don't know what the alternate A is gonna be. Hopefully nothing too bad. Well it looks like wait, the MSs aren't working. Fuck, I don't even know where they are. There's one. I hate cycling through all this. These guys are gonna just peck me to death, aren't they? We need to kill the Sunder, though. Does it even matter if I kill everything here? Yeah, I do have to. Okay, I got one. Alright, let me find the Sunder again. Sunder right there. Single fire engaged. Group fire engaged. 
Now, the heat here is insane, so... That's the main thing I have to be concerned about. I missed him. Okay, let's go across. Yeah, I killed these. Oh, fuck. Alright, we're going back. We're going back over here where it's safe. Let's start hitting Targeting. me all of a sudden. Targeting. Targeting. What the hell is that? Targeting. A Sunder again? Another Sunder! I, I wish I could see him, but I can't. And moving out there is certain death. Oh, I can I, actually I can make out his silhouette. That's that's the whole point. It's kind of fucky, but whatever. I got him. So we shut down for longer because we're in a situation where. Um, it, there's an enormous amount of heat here. Targeting. Targeting. Linked fire engaged. Targeting. See another guy here. Can I streak him by? Oh, shit. Single fire engaged. Group fire Fuck. engaged. I really don't like the Sunder. The Sunder is the one I want to deal with. There we go. Cause like that guy also understood. So there's like a group of Sunders. There we are. Trying to get this guy. I I don't mind if I just like I don't have to like this guy. I I wish I could see him, but I, I just can't. There's no thermal optics in this game either. Okay, what happens if we just destroy these? Nothing apparently. Because we stopped to destroy all the smoke Targeting. juggler forces here. Targeting. Targeting. Linked fire engaged. Core meltdown imminent. Core Fuck. meltdown imminent. These guys are so annoying. And there's this guy, Single just like the fucking Phantom Sunder. Don't worry, I killed one of the elementals. The minute I see them shut down, I'm taking the sh uh, The minute I see them slow down, I think. I slow down. There's one down there somewhere. I'm, I'm too worried to move from this position, but yeah. Yeah, maybe, maybe... Fuck. Maybe we'll go this way. This is actually pretty difficult, I have to say. Try and get another position. Oh, okay, thank you. I'm too worried about this fucking up this mission. So I had a good start here. That is asshole. Look, he, he, look he's pu they're pop charting me in fucking elementals. I've never seen a bigger insult than trying to pop chart me. I don't have I don't have pop charting capabilities. This is like literally insulting. Oh my god. Targeting. These guys are so Targeting. hard to hit. Targeting. Targeting. Actually, what am I doing? Streaks. No, they just don't lock onto these guys. I don't know why. Yeah, they don't do anything. Okay, those are worthless to bring along. I wish I had brought something like the the small little things. Okay, let's see if I can get this under now. Single fire engaged. Group fire engaged. Single fire engaged. Uh, we need linked fire. Engaged. Linked fire. That's what we need. Group fire engaged. Yeah, I know he's hitting me. So tired of these little guys. Fuck, are you still alive here? I got I got him in the cockpit. Single fire engaged. Alright. Not that many more. Uh there's just the sunder here, and I'm a little bit red in the side torso. Targeting. Targeting. 
Why does it do that? Turn with them. Fuck, please. Please. Jeebus. This target computer is completely and utterly wrong. It doesn't even go near his leg when I fire it like this. Just this thunder and then I basically win. Then I just have to not get hit by the side thing. Oh my god, it is completely and utterly wrong. Start up please, thank you. Which leg did I hit before? Why is he just letting me hit him? He, he just gave up. He's like, uh, yeah, I'm gonna die here. Alright. That's it, pretty much. Sometimes that target computer is just completely off, and I don't know why that is. Alright, so now I have to all I have to do is not die by Targeting. elementals. Is that the only guy left? It might be the only guy left. Targeting. This is the last possible thing that could kill me on this map. And I have a red side torso. So will will he MLG me? Cause that that's grounds to quit quit YouTube forever. Oh, he got stuck over here. These streaks really did not come in handy, did they? Fuck it. Let's go flush the coolant. Yeah, I, I hit this guy in the cockpit again. We did it. We, we did it, lads. Why do I hear like a noise? Um, oh, there's an elevator here. Oh, feels good, man. Why would I have to destroy all the forces here, anyways? It makes no sense to me. Oh wait, this this is water. It's a coolant. Because my heat just comes back on instantly. Uh oh. I fell into the water. Oh no, there is a ramp out. <laughs> it just occurred to me. I fell in there, it's like reached the elevator. I'm like, uh oh. We did it, guys. So basically, it's not to allow you to, to go into the pit and then die, you know? forward to the snow and ice again after that sauna. We need to hold for a few more minutes. I've got some men heading topside for a quick look, so we won't be coming up blind. Alright, we got two sunders out of that. Some other shit here. Uh, nothing too good. Okay, finally some good news. The shuttle is up there. Yeah, we got a ride. Have you informed the Eclipse? The Eclipse lifted as soon as I told Captain Taylor about the shuttle. He'll meet us in low orbit if we manage to pull this off. Pull what off, exactly? He's here. Corbett, up in the caldera. We picked up an open broadcast set on a repeating transmission. This is Galaxy Commander Brendan Corbett of the Clan Smoke Jaguar. I await you in the caldera. It shall be our circle of equals. Though you hardly rate the honor, I am left with no further time to deal with free birth vermin. My clan arrives, and you will not be left alive to stain the soil with your presence. Stand and fight, or be hunted like the Surats you are. But you will not survive this day. We'll come out of the elevator here, at this northwest corner just behind the shuttle pad. That might buy us a few seconds to organize, but don't hang back too long. If that shuttle is damaged, we're stuck on Tranquil. Given the usual clanner conceit, Corbett and his warriors will likely wait for us in the center of the caldera. No mistake, Commando, this is a tough one. 
Corbett is commanding an elite team, fitted with the best equipment the Jaguars possess. He's dangling the shuttle in front of us for bait. He knows we need it. And we'll have to go through him to get it. Everyone ready? All right, guys, it's the last one. And, uh, I mean, we didn't really get much. Oh, well, there's a Sunder. That's pretty much it. Um, but yeah, there's absolutely no reason not to bring the heaviest mechs for everybody along. Um, I, I really am not a fan of these streaks, though. And I'm going to have to see what else I want to change it with. Actually, maybe we will put that UAC uh, on here. Well, uh, I'll see. Uh, so I'll be back in a bit. All right, lads. Uh, I, I decided to put on two UAC 5s. By the way, could not do UAC 20 because all the ammo is gone for it. Apparently, something happens if I, like, if I crash the game, restart it, and then, like, I look at the salvage and it, I see it there, but it didn't take it with me. It was really weird. I don't know. It's glitchy. What can I say? But, yeah, so we did that. Everyone else is using Annihilator, so... Uh, one has LAPD, two of them have some kind of ER large laser variant that I created that's an abomination. Um, they mostly have also AMSs and stuff to help me out. I don't think that this matters anymore, carrying anything along with us matters, but I can. Yeah, it's just like I have no UAC5s or anything, so uh, kind of sucks balls, not going to lie. Reactor online, sensors online, weapons online, all systems nominal. Power-up detected. Got them. Right out in the middle and waiting for us. Let's get away from the shuttle before they decide to fire through it to get at us. Where's the shuttle? Free birth cowards, hiding behind cover. I will gladly blast it apart to get to you. So we need to get a lock on him first. So I can tell these guys to move up, and then I can start taking shots, because it, it doesn't work if, uh... Lead the way. Following information. I, I need them to power on. I should have bought a... I should have brought a Babylon. Ah, here we Targeting. go. If you say so. Right away, sir. Alright, let's see here. If you say so. The good old PPCs. Yeah, we got him a little bit. It's a supernova. Some help about now. First blood. You shall pay for that. And this one's a cauldron born. They bring a lot of shit mechs along, don't they? Uh, let's get the dashy first. Guys in a mad cat. Figure out Jesus. Wow, there you go. That was easy. Only lost one annihilator. Okay, it looks like he defused the shuttle. Oh, that's it for that. I quit this mission. Uh, no outro briefing. Just, uh, silence. Okay. With the conclusion of Operation Serpent and Bulldog, and the great refusal at Stratomecti, the power of the clan invaders has finally been broken. By destroying Clan Smoke Jaguar, the Star League taught all the clans the true horrors of war as it is practiced in the Inner Sphere. At the beginning of the counterattack, the first Avion Guards and other forces on Port Arthur laid waste to the military capabilities of the entire planet. This policy of complete destruction was continued until the final critical battle on Tranquility, when an unsupported lance destroyed the last bastion of Smoke Jaguar resistance and manufacturing capability. The total collapse of the clan's strategy against the Inner Sphere was sealed at Stratomecti. There the Star League fought under clan rules. Elite, vat-born, bred-for-battle clan forces were defeated by the common, free-born, hardened veterans of the Inner Sphere. 
They are the true mech warriors. Hey, we're done, guys. Finally, finally done. Well, it actually wasn't that long of a game. It's sort of short. Uh, definitely has a couple of bugs still within it. Um, but it didn't crash as much as it did the first time I tried to run through it. So it was uh, uh, pretty good. Pretty enjoyable. Um, I needed a bit of time to basically, yeah, make sure it worked okay. I mean, I had way more patches and um, other goodness going on here uh, than I did before. Because uh, I, uh, yeah, we had the DG Voodoo Rep or whatever, so I actually looked up some, some shit about it. Before, there wasn't anything really, no good guides on how to get the game running in modern operating systems. But yeah, we finally did it. It was, it was actually really enjoyable. Um, although I, I do feel at the end I was really cheesing it. Uh, I mean, I probably, if I didn't get, if the 4 PPC wasn't really that great, I probably would have just done it with a shit ton of LRMs. However... Problem with LRMs, limited by ammo, and I wasted most of it in all the other missions. The I don't like the salvage mechanic of this game, and for some reason I kept losing uh, things I, I swear I had put uh, like into my own salvage, so I don't know. I, I, I should have had way more UAC-20 ammo uh, by the end of that, but we just didn't. It's actually really sad um, that I didn't get to use it for the final mission. Uh, some other shit though is that I think that everything is really tiny in this game. I think it might be the fact I am playing at 10, 1080p and for whenever I do Pirate's Moon, which is not right away, but the Pirate's Moon is the expansion pack for this, I'm going to try doing it 1280 first. I didn't feel the need to try it in this one just because I wasn't going to switch it halfway. But I felt like I was shooting pixels on the screen half the time. I mean, I was trying to snipe everything, but I thought it was really odd. I, I don't know what the hell the deal was with that. Um, it might have been the fact I shouldn't have put the resolution that high, and this is sometimes the problem with these games, is it makes it difficult to see what the fuck I'm doing. I tried some close range loadouts, and by the time I realized there was a problem, I had to basically fight everything from long range anyway, so... And had to snipe them out. It is literally pixel hunting with regarding the, uh, to target legs and shit like that, but it was still kind of, it was still really fun. Uh, with that regard. Um, the soundtrack. Uh, soundtrack was made by, uh, well, the one I'm using in a lot, in a lot of these videos, uh, a guy, Tim. Uh, once again, check out the description, support the guy. It was actually, like, one of the best remixes I've, I've ever heard, so I, I decided to use it until almost the very end. I actually liked it a lot. Uh, it was excellent. It was excellent. Um, I think that the story conveying in this one, I, I like the idea of the story. I like the whole, um, you're, you're cut off on like the clan homeworld or whatever for Astronomech Day 4 Jaguar. And you're cut off and you have to basically go through all this stuff and do basically, it's like an actual commando mission. Um, and you're doing all this stuff and you have no support or anything like that. I, I thought the premise was really good. The execution was uh, left a little bit to be desired, mostly regarding the like the in-game dialogue. You cannot hear it half the time because everything's so loud. I, I don't have any options for that. I can't uh, raise that anymore, and we're like in the middle of combat. I can't tell. I mean, go ahead and look on the internet on, on what the story actually was in some of these missions um, uh, regarding like... Like, you guys know we had, like, an option to get the shuttle, and then we didn't get the shuttle, so we kept going. We got, took a base, and then, then we got the, the last shuttle and things like that, and... I don't know, it's, it's, um... The execution of that wasn't that great. That was fixed definitely in Mech 4. Uh, hard points are really quite broken in this one as well, uh, because I, I was just able to put on four PPCs on basically everything. I used, like, a Mad Cat for a great deal of the, of, of the game as well. Uh, so I was, um... Uh, I mean, it's not, nobody ever thought this was the most balanced game, but it is still pretty fun. Um, so I'm just letting you know, I'm, I'm never going to go back to Mech 2. Uh, I don't think I'm ever going to do that. I think that's way too old. This is on the cusp of oldness, because, like, the AI was really stupid sometimes. Like, they didn't activate to kill me. Like, the, the two, the two Dayashis in the compound really confused me, because I'm like, I was scared as fuck, and then they didn't activate to kill me. I think I was supposed to step forward. But I think I was just outside their activation range or something, so... Um, and this is... I played this on hard, right? <laughs> so everything was really difficult. Um, but, like, it's fine if you know how to cheese it. Uh, the, the, the game is, so... I wonder... I don't know. You, this is some of the modes that we have. Oh, we have mobile field base, lance mates, enemies, 
Yeah, this is super boring. This this fucking I remember this instant action mode. I'm sorry, I think it's boring, but whatever. Uh battle progression. Yeah, so you set the enemies and the enemies come at you. They didn't make like a proper mode in the fact that like you can have um like you you maybe increasing in difficulty or something, but it left a little bit to be desired with, with that regard. It's not the best mech game, but it is a decent one at least. So yeah. Um, I, like, I still liked it, and it was still fun to play through. Uh, still amusing. Uh, but, yeah. I, I, I'll still do Pirate's Moon, because I remember Pirate's Moon being okay, even though I never finished it. Uh, it was We actually got some light mech action in there, which was good. Um, and also UI, man. I couldn't, see, I couldn't see where I was turning unless I had the map on and things like that. Yeah. It's still, it, as I said, still good. Uh, but, yeah. So, yeah. So, Mech 2, I'm never going to touch upon that. Um, I tried Mech 2 Mercs at one point, and then I was kind of like, oh. Um, I don't know. I didn't. I, I I failed miserably at Solaris, and then, like, I felt like the entire thing was not that great. Because in, in Mech 2, I feel like you're literally struggling with the controls. Fuck. I don't want that to happen anymore. You're literally struggling with the controls, and also, no, you see how there's just sound effects and music volume? Yeah, there's nothing for voice volume. I would have totally turned that up if it was an option, but no. And I mean, we don't even have music in this. So, like, I, well, I mean, I'm, I might be playing something right now, but we, there's no music that plays at all, so. It's one of those things that's kind of uh, not great about it either. So yeah, we're not touching Mech 2 anymore, just because, I, as I said, I, I struggle with the controls on that one too much. It's a little bit rough around the edges, that one. I, it was great. It was great. But I think if I were to ever do that, it would be more for nostalgia purposes rather than being like a, a decent game where you can make some fun builds. I mean, the lasers in that game were really good as well, if I recall, and some other stuff. But yeah, um, probably not going to touch it. But I, I don't know. I guess never say never. There's always streams or who knows what else. Um that I feel like doing. There's supposed to be a Mech 5 Mercs coming out, um, made by our good friends at Piranha Games, and some people have already asked me about that, um, like in various mediums, what I think about it. Um, I think Piranha's literally going to shit the bed with that one. Um, they fucked up MechWare Online so bad, and then they made a single player game. Man, the trailer for that, like, if you go watch the trailer right now, like, listen to the people voicing it. Like, they're more monotone than I am. Uh, and I'm, like, I'm just, like, playing games and shit. Like, and, but, like, like, they're actually voice actors. But they're, like, the least into it I've ever seen. I think it was just, like, some employees did the voice acting for that. I, I can almost guarantee you. I can tell something's up that they're not professional voice actors. Uh, they're, they're probably just in a room, like, just one of the programmers. And it was like, oh, there's a raven on your left. Um, oh, yeah, the really funny thing was uh, the raven that shows up in the... Um, uh, in the trailer. So the trailer for Mech 5 Mercs is at the beginning of the war or whatever. The war is starting. But for the timeline that it's a part of, the Raven doesn't exist yet. And it's in the trailer. <laughs> it's one of the first things that attacks you. It's fucking... I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's, one of those, it's so inconsistent. They did not put a lot of thought into it. And I can guarantee you it's probably going to be really bad. Um, the question is, am I going to do it? Uh, let me just say... Probably just for YouTube. Um, like even if it's bad, it would be still fun to see, you know, just to make fun of it or something. I, I'm I'm just telling you right now. I'm coming in with the lowest of expectations because Piranha like literally screws up. I would not like if you're thinking about buying it. I would really think twice about it and really wait on it. Like I will. I, like as I said, I'll fucking bite the bullet and because I I guess I you know I I do videos and I'll just kind of post it up and things like that. I like er, people are expecting it to be pretty not that great. Um, I mean, MechWare Online didn't take exactly a great direction either. Um, they and like this is the company that wants to do five hundred dollar gold skins, and they're making a single player game. So that's going to be interesting to see how they're going to try and do that. So it's one of those sixty dollar gaming packages or whatever the hell you know single player experiences. So as I said, I'll bite the bullet and I'll. Um, I'll probably get it and I'll uh, play it for you guys. Uh, but I'm expecting it to be extremely bad right now. And I'm calling it right now. In the, I think it's going to be awful. And, I, and I'm going to have no right to complain because whatever. But yeah. Um, so that's it for this game. Uh, as I said, there's a lot of glitches. It just did not go well into modern operating systems now. 
Uh, so it's it's getting worse all the time, this engine that they, they wrote. It's really quite odd what keeps happening. They, they must be doing something really fucky that, like, you know, for this engine. And I don't know what it is. Um, like, I would not want to see... Like, like if one of the developers probably came out, he'd probably say, like, like they had to rush it out and they cut a whole bunch of corners everywhere. That's what I'd say what they did. Um, it was still a fun game, don't get me wrong. But I think what the, whoever did the engine was, uh, was probably cutting corners somewhere. Um, it was still a great game, though. Um, maybe he wasn't. Maybe it was just, like, something they didn't anticipate or maybe the... Maybe it's just modern operating systems. Maybe it's just the Microsoft's fault with the Windows 7 and Vista and all that shit. Maybe it just changed too much and um, they were expecting certain things. Who knows? Who knows what the issue is? I still like the game. Um, I grew I grew up with it, so uh, I thought it was fun. Luckily, it didn't crash a whole lot this time, um, this time around. I mean, a lot of the glitches were kind of much better this time around, but I do not know if the AI being as fucky as it was sometimes was, like, I'm, I'm guessing it was just the game itself. Um, I'm going to say that it, 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 this is the way it always was. So, I mean, as I said, you know, programming is hard, man. What can you do? You gotta forgive them. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked it a lot, and uh, I will see you guys for something next time. Goodbye.